think we'll get started because there's quite a few of you that have joined today. So thank you very much. And good morning. Um, there's quite a lot of you today, which is amazing. And I am really excited about today's webinar. I um, wanted to thank you for joining. Um, I hope that you're all safe and well. And I think the good news is that we're all now starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel after the whirlwind of a year that we've all endured. But today's webinar is really exciting because we are delighted that as of last week, um, Saga Ocean Cruises is, is one of our brand new partners. So it's really exciting today. Um, today, the webinar, I want to tell you two things before we go ahead with it all about our brand new partner is we will be discussing their new ships that they have to their fleet and talking about some of their new fantastic itineraries. Um, so yes, we will also be joined by Natasha from Saga. And I will firstly, before we go on to that, just tell you a little bit about me and who Panache Cruises are. Well, my name's Katie. I've been in the luxury cruise sector now for over nine years and I've been at Panache Cruises from the very beginning. So I am very lucky and I'm very grateful to work for such a brilliant company. Um, so just about who we are, Panache Cruises. Well, we were founded by cruise veteran James Cole, who is very well respected in the cruise industry and he has set up some fantastic um, cruise businesses. Um, so he's very well known and respected. Most of us have pretty much followed James as we all have worked with James pre previously too. And between us and the team, we have a combined knowledge in the cruise industry of over 100 years. We like to tailor make dream made holidays here. So right from when you make the inquiry up until when you come back from your cruise, we will kind of hold your hand from the point of when you make the inquiry up until you get home. So even from when you need hairdresser appointments on board, we will take care of that to shore excursions. We'll take care of all of that for you. We offer bespoke holidays here too, to match your requirements and ensure that we are going to give you the best booking experience that we can. Nothing is too much trouble here at Panache Cruises. So uh, no detail is too small. It's absolutely no problem. At the moment, more than ever, I think it's really important to touch on the fact that um, we, there is some brilliant book with confidence messages, um, some low deposits, reduced prices, and some great relaxed payment terms. So especially now with the vaccine being rolled out and each of the UK roadmap gradually lifting, things are really starting to look forward, uh, look up, which is great news. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to give you a little bit more detail about Panache Cruises and who we are. Um, but before I hand you over to lovely Natasha at Saga Cruises, I just wanted to point out that there is a chat box near the bottom um, where you can ask any questions and we will go through them at the end and try and answer all of your questions that you may have. But thank you very much for joining. I'll pass you over to Natasha and speak to you soon at the end. Thank you, Katie, and hi everyone. Hopefully um, you look forward to this presentation. So I'll tell you a little bit more about Saga Cruises. So we've actually been creating holidays and cruises exclusively for the over 50s market for nearly 70 years. We're actually going to be celebrating our 70th um, year this September. So it's a really big um, momentous moment for us. We've been selling destinations, memorable experiences, and really put fantastic value at the heart of what we do for anyone over the age of 50. And a traveling companion can be over the age of 40 to go along with you. So I've just highlighted here on the slide, so sorry if um, it might be a bit scrunched together, but I'll just go through some of the points that make Saga different and why to set sail on a Saga cruise, which really sets us apart from other cruise liners. So we have a brand new fleet. So we've got two sister ships, We've got Spirit of Discovery and Spirit of Adventure. Spirit of Discovery was built in 2019 and Spirit of Adventure was um, 
she was built and launched last year however unfortunately with everything that went on she wasn't able um to set sail on her first inaugural season so instead she's been sitting at tilbury <laughs> um so people around tilbury have been admiring her um apart from us unfortunately but she is looking beautiful um they're actually doing a few more touches where she has been docked for the past year so she is going to be brand spanking new um it's really really exciting to be able to set sail this summer we're actually the youngest fleet um on the ocean currently as well with just our two ships so it's really good to know um, we are flying the uk flag so we meet the high standards and our ships are registered here in the in the in, in england and proudly fly the red ensign we're small and yet spacious so both of our ships have been built with the small boutique style we carry no more than 999 guests we're just under that 1000 pound capacity to make us into the small ship category our cruises include UK travel insurance and um, travel service, sorry. So what that means is you can choose from either the chauffeur service, domestic flights, coach or rail travel or complimentary car parking at the point. Now at the, the next slide, I will talk a little bit more about the UK travel service for you. We sail from the UK, so we're a no fly cruise, cruise liner. Um, we go from ports Dover or Southampton. However, as we go on to the slides shortly, um, we've just introduced five new itineraries for this summer, which will be going from Tilbury because both of them are currently docked there. Something really special about our ships is every cabin has a balcony. So we have no inside cabins, no outside cabins. Um, our lead-in cabin, lead-in category is a balcony cabin. And in the slides, we'll show you what a standard balcony cabin looks like. Book early and save up to 35%. So when we do a brochure launch or a calendar year um, and we put all of the, the cruises on sale, so for instance, we've in the last few months we launched 2022, we actually create discounts of saving up to 35%. So you won't be disadvantaged by booking early. It's always the best time to book is by booking early and you can get the highest discount off up to 35%. And once them categories start booking, then that discount will start decreasing. So then it will come down to 30%, 25%, 20% um, until it comes down to zero. We also have a cruise price promise. So what that means is booking now, you won't be disadvantaged either with the discount. And also if we lower the price, we'll automatically pass the saving back to you. Um, so a lot of people in their mind think, oh, actually, we'll wait last minute to book a cruise because we're always going to get the best deal. In this case, you, you're not. You're always best to book early as possible. If not, then, like I say, we will um, automatically pass that saving back to you. All of our prices are in pounds sterling, so no need to worry about any currency or exchange rates on board. We now include included sightseeing tours. Um, so pretty much as I go on with our inclusions, we include a lot in our price and now we've introduced the sightseeing tours as well. So even your excursions um, are going to be included into the cost. Every cruise is all inclusive. We've included drinks in every bar and restaurant on board. So that will be including beers, wines, spirits, cocktails and soft drinks. Dine wherever you wish. So in all of our restaurants, meals are served in a single sitting with open seating so you can sit wherever you wish and you won't be rushed to leave um, the table for other diners and we also include the speciality restaurants as well so you won't be charged any additional for that. Gratuity is already taken care of and we also include little extras so from Porteridge um, to complimentary wi-fi and afternoon tea and you can take my word for it, I've been on um, some of our previous Saga ships and the afternoon tea is a spectacular, considering we are a British cruise liner, we know how to pull it off. So um, it is divine and something not to be missed. Um, and we also take care of a lot of little extras too. Coronavirus cancellation cover is now included. So with our travel insurance, if you don't want our included travel insurance, that's absolutely fine, a reduction will be made to the cost of your cruise. And, but if you do want it, we do now include 5 million coronavirus emergency medical and repatriation cover. Um, so it's just a little bit more added peace of mind there. And we've recently introduced a new requirement um, and it's now required for all guests must be fully vaccinated. So that's the first and also the second dose against COVID-19 at least 14 days before cruising with us. 
If you do, however, have a cruise booked and you haven't had that second dose, that's absolutely fine and we can amend that for you or cancel it as long as it's um, at least two weeks before traveling with us. Flexible cancellation cover means no amendment fees. So you can always change your plans given peace of mind um, if your vaccine is delayed. Also love your holiday or first cruise. So what this means is we're that confident that you're going to enjoy your cruise with us. Um, if you don't, then we'll bring you home. As long as you make us aware with on the second day of your cruise, we'll bring you home and refund the, co the total cost of your, your cruise. Um, so we are that confident and hopefully you guys um, will agree. So what do we include and what is our UK travel service? So we include door-to-door -door chauffeur service up to 250 miles each way. So one of our experienced chauffeurs will pick you up from your home or from family or friends, depending if you're traveling together or whereabouts you're based and drive you to Southampton or Dover or Tilbury for the summer cruises and then meet you on the arrival back in the UK. If you live within 75 miles of the port, it will be a private chauffeur service. If you live within 76 miles to 250 miles of the port, then it will be a shared service and you can share with up to five other guests. If you don't wish to take advantage of the chauffeur service and you can choose to drive if you're close to the port and we can arrange the port car parking, fly from an airport near you. So for instance, if you are based up in Scotland and the, the ports are a little bit of a distance, what we'll actually do is include a domestic flight down to near the port and obviously arrange to get you to the port. Um, so we do include the flight um, along with the chauffeur service to pick you up from the airport and then drive you the rest of the way. You can also choose standard class tickets for rail or coach travel. And just to mention on the chauffeur service, um, what's really nice is the chauffeur will actually pop your suitcases into the, the car and when you get down to the port that will all be taken care of for you in terms of the porterage so once you get down to the port you'll literally just need to check in and when you go to your cabin your suitcases will be waiting for you so you don't need to be lugging them around the port getting them in the car and um, out the car that sort of thing so that's all taken care of for you. So what does each cruise include? So we include the UK travel service we include the travel insurance, unless you have your own insurance, which is absolutely fine. In that case, a reduction will be available for you. Flexible coronavirus pre-departure cancellation cover. World-class dining in a choice of five restaurants around each of the ships. All-inclusive drinks includes a choice of wine, spirits, cocktails containing spirits, draft beer and lager, and non-alcoholic cocktails or mixers and soft drinks. You've got complimentary snacks, tea, coffee and fruit juices throughout the days. Unlimited luggage allowances you'll be cruising from the UK. Sightseeing excursions. Free Wi-Fi if you want to connect with people back home. All onboard gratuities and service charges. So the price you pay, there is no hidden extras. Complimentary 24 hour room service. So for them days that you don't want to be heading out or you want breakfast in bed, arrange that room service because it's not going to be any extra charge for yourself. We'll have a welcome sailway party and a gala captain's dinner. A wide range of entertainment in multiple entertainment venues, including lectures from guest speakers, theatre production and recitals. There'll be classes, activities and outside deck games available. Fitness classes and use of gymnasium, swimming pool and hot tubs. Um, if anyone wants to get some fitness, I guess the only trouble with being on a cruise is there's so much food and drink to enjoy that you might then want to um, work out. Spa access to hydrotherapy pool, infrared sauna and steam room. We include a shuttle bus to the nearest town centre at most ports of call. So when the ship is berthed at least 500 yards away, if you want to independently explore that town, absolutely can do as long as you adhere to the, the timings that you'll be picked up and dropped off just because we don't want you missing um, the sailing away. <laughs> Group tour tourist visas if they are required. All port taxes, fees and charges, and you've got the protection of being Abitur and Atoll protected. Plus every cruise is backed by our price promise. So that's again, just if, if you, if there are price, if we lower our price, you won't be disadvantaged. So really just summing up that, we do include so much. The only things that you may wish to purchase on board would be your premium wines and spirits spa and beauty treatments and any additional shore excursions. Apart from that, everything else is covered for you. 
So let's talk about the two ships. So we hold 999 passengers at full capacity. We have 554 all balcony cabins and 109 of them are dedicated for single passengers. For us, our guests are the most important and from with our previous fleet, we've had feedback and we know that it was requested really. So when we built brand new ships, it was important for us to put a lot more single cabins available for, for guests. Um, the gross tonnage is 58,250. So you can compare that to other cruise liners, which are probably the same tonnage, but what you'll realise is you have more space on this because we've got no insides or outsides. That is created essentially more space um, to move around the ships. You've got the length and 523 crew members, 15 decks and 10 passenger decks. So I'm just going to share a short video um, of Spirit of Discovery first. Now it's a selection of images just put together in a slideshow. Um, hopefully this year once we are back to sailing and cruising um, we'll get some video vloggers sort of going on board to capture some real immersive footage for you but for the time being I've just put some um, images together if you want to take a look. Um, you might want to adjust your TVs or screens um, volume up or down um, to, to cater for the sound so here we go. You enjoyed that it might not be um something you would expect from saga i know a lot of people have kind of a stigma around um saga in general um now i'm not sure if you're familiar with our previous fleet but we did have um some dated ships which look completely different um to our brand new fleet so we have gone for the luxury modern contemporary feel um so i hope you enjoyed looking at some of them pictures um and now what i'll do is i'll just go through some spirit of adventure um details and also some pictures just to show you um some similarities but also to point out they're sisters not twins so you know if they were exactly the same you wouldn't then want to try out um the, the other ship whereas this way you can um experience both ships apologies working from home um obviously i, I have got a little bit of noise in the background i've got an indoor cat um he seems to be making a little bit of noise now so apologies for that and hopefully you can still hear me okay um so spirit of adventure we have got 10 passenger decks Again, 999 passengers with the same amount of balcony cabins. An observation deck. Now we have introduced a playhouse theatre. So we've got a 444 seat theatre with rake seating. Britannia Lounge Show Lounge for activities and entertainment day and night. So it's a multi-purpose venue that alternates through the day and night. 
Uh, we've got the North Cape Bar, which is the ship's main bar. And on Spirit of Discovery, it's South Cape Bar, which is the ship's main bar. We've got a library with cafe, craft and card rooms, and also a spa with hydrotherapy, pool, sauna, steam, and treatment rooms. So this is a standard cabin on Spirit of Adventure. So you'll notice from the pictures you've just seen, it is a slightly different feel, different colour schemes. Now, just to give you an idea of what a standard cabin includes. So these are 215 square feet of accommodation. So really spacious, generous for a lead in cabin. You can choose from twin or double beds. You'll get the private, cap, the private balcony, complimentary Wi-Fi. There'll be a flat screen TV with free on demand movie channels, 24 hour room service. There'll be tea and coffee making facilities in the room, which is very handy. So you don't have to traipse down to the, the restaurant to get your morning tea or coffee. And you can sit on your balcony once you've made it yourself. There's a writing desk and seating area, a fridge, mineral water and fruit basket, binoculars, a nightly turn down service, and obviously a private bathroom with a toilet and shower. And here's an example of a forward suite. So this is the highest grade of accommodation that our ships do have to offer. Um, offering a series of living spaces to dine and relax, a separate bedroom and a luxury bathroom with a whirlpool bath on top of the full range of suite benefits. The square feet of accommodation is 765 to 855 square feet and you'll have a larger balcony, but the service, a larger seating area with a sofa and a dining table, a walk-in wardrobe and enhanced bathroom. Now this um, is a, a, a different colour scheme. Now the suites will have different colour schemes in the rooms. This just gives you an idea of another um, grade of forward suites that we have. As you can see, the interior is different. Um, and you can see there on the right hand side, the bathroom, you've got a, a, um, two sinks in there. You've got the bath and also the shower. So just to give you an idea of the cabins. This is the Lido area, so really laid back outside in the centre of the Lido deck. What we tend to say is you can enjoy a little, little taste of the British seaside wherever you are cruising in the world. So you've got an outdoor pool, hot tubs, or you can literally just find a cosy spot in the shade to stretch out on a sun lounger. Now on the deck you'll have snacks, way to serve drinks and ice creams. We also have a section for old fashioned board sweets. Um, so if you just fancy um, sweet tooth then you can head and have one of them. We'll go on to the dining. So I think we can all agree dining is one of the real pleasures of cruises. You know, we want to eat out our hearts content. There's somewhere, you know, someone's looking after us and catering for us. Now there's two main ships to choose from on each ship. You've got the main dining room, which is this one here, and grill restaurants, which offer British and international dishes at breakfast, lunch and dinner. Dinner generally stretches to five or six courses and twice a week you can look forward to getting dressed up for extra special formal nights. I've just got a couple of more images of some of the restaurants. So we've got the grill restaurant inside and outside. Um, the top right hand picture is the outside of the grill area, so you can be outside. Um, just next to that on the top left is the interior of a coast, is called Coast to Coast, which is a seafood restaurant, which is on board Spirit of Discovery. Below Coast to Coast is um, our Nepalese restaurant, which is called Kukuri House. And it's actually the first Nepalese restaurant on the Ocean Wave. Um, so it's nice that we've introduced a different um, cuisine and that's on Spirit of Adventure. And then we've also got Amalfi, which is a high-end Italian eatery. I haven't got an image on here, but that one is um, on Spirit of Discovery as well. So you'll have two speciality restaurants on each of the ships and they are different cuisines. So it's nice to have a little, little bit of variant, variance and that's dining at no extra cost. We've got our card and craft room. So light, airy, you can see there on the craft one, they've got sewing machines as well and space there for crafting and then the card room. This is the Britannia Lounge. So this is the multi-purpose venue I was mentioning about. So there's always something to find, see, do. You've got the double height rooms with a panoramic window. So you can see views for days while you are cruising. Um, during the day, there'll be lecturers, talks, extra activities and entertainment. 
And then at night time, the lounge transforms and comes alive with an alternative programme of entertainment to the theatre. So you'd have here music, and um, so you can be dancing, live performances. So one night you'd head to the theatre and then the other night perhaps head over here. So it's just a few images from Spirit of Adventure on what we have to offer. So probably what's um, mostly on everyone's mind is keeping you safe. What are we going to do when we return back to service? So our ships have recently been awarded the Independent Shield Accreditation Certification. We're actually the first cruise line um, to achieve this. Um, and it just shows that we've been adhering to the stricted health and hygiene measures of what we're going to put into place in order to achieve this certification. So the following will be in place on our cruises that we will be sailing in June and July. And we'll be continuing to review all of the COVID-19 protocols to ensure that we provide a safe environment for all of our guests and crew, as that's the most important thing to us. So all guests are to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19 before boarding the ship. And also we'll be doing testing before boarding. We'll be extending the private chauffeur service. So when I mentioned earlier in the slides, is seven, up to 75 miles is a private chauffeur service. Whilst we're doing these five cruises on our return to service, what we're actually doing is extending that up to 250 miles each way. So it's just your own bubble and you haven't got the worry of sharing with anyone else. So up to 250 miles, including the price of private chauffeur service. We're going to be reducing the guest capacity to 800 per ship rather than 999. There will be social distancing on board and face coverings will be required in public areas. All of the restaurants will now offer full waiter service. We'll have enhanced cleaning and a double medical team on board and all the air conditioning will be reconfigured to circulate 100% fresh air. So we have just launched five brand new all-inclusive boutique cruises sailing this summer. So Spirit of Adventure will be doing her in August season um, and her in August sailing is on the 26th of July. She'll be doing 15 nights sailing from Tilbury on the left hand side. As you can see, even in the inaugural cruise, we will be including sightseeing tours. So something that sets us out a little bit different is we, we have got smaller ships and we are able to dock. Um, we're adhering to obviously the government advice, um, but you will be able to disembark in these ports um, head on to the sightseeing excursions. If you don't want to head on the sightseeing excursions, then you can independently explore at the ports of call. Whereas I know some of the other cruise liners this summer, are, you are restricted to being on the ship. Um, so we've got the inaugural cruise, which is the first itinerary for Spirit of Adventure. And then the first Spirit of Discovery itinerary is the Scottish Highlands and Islands, which is on the 27th of June. So they are our two resumption dates this year. And then we also have from the Northern Isles to the Fjords, which we'll be doing on two different dates. Um, so what's quite nice is these ones will be cruising through um, Norway. So we won't be stopping at Norway, um, but you will be having a little, little bit of different scenery. Um, so scenic cruising through Norway, um, as I think probably the British Isles might be a little bit busy this year. Um, so it's quite nice to have an alternative there. And then lastly, our fifth cruise, we've got the Great British Isles Adventure, which is a two week on the 11th of July. So we have got 2021 and 2022 cruises available. Our 2023 um, program is not yet on sale. We generally launch around September time, but I think it's fair to say there's a lot of demand out there. So we're hoping to bring that a little bit forward, um, hopefully around this summer. And that's when you guys want to be looking um, for the saving up to 35% discounts. Um, we generally sail where other cruise lines can't. A big advantage of our smaller boutique ships um, mean that we can set sail for lesser known ports and out of the way harbours, places that the larger ships have to sail past. Um, after you've arrived, we also have an explore ashore service. So what this team is there for is they can help plan your time ashore um, from exciting shore excursions and bespoke tours. So if you are really interested in doing something on that island, we don't offer it. By speaking to this team, they can bespoke a tailor-made package for you ashore um, and then make sure obviously it ties in with the ship and disembarking and sailing away, etc. cetera. Um, they are the experts and they can sort of tailor-make the experience for you. Our cruises range from four nights to 83 nights. 
Um, Europe and Mediterranean cruises will include destinations such as France, Spain, Italy, the Baltic and Scandinavia. And we also go around the Channel Islands, Canary Islands and the islands of Atlantic as well. So lots um, to choose from. Give me one good reason why I should book a holiday with Saga this year. So we've just coupled um, a few there for you. So our coronavirus vaccine only travel means that all of our guests can go on holiday with peace of mind. We offer a booking amendment option just in case your second vaccine is delayed for any instance. Our travel insurance for coronavirus includes medical cover and getting you back home from overseas. If you book early and the price is then lowered, we'll give you the value of the difference back so you're not disadvantaged. Our cruise cabins come with private balconies so you can enjoy your own space. And we offer the VIP chauffeur service to and from your holiday, all included in the price. And that's now extended for two, up to 250 miles for a private on these five British Isles cruises. That may also change on our later cruises this year as well. So always, um, speak to Panache and, let, and they can let you know what we are offering at that time. And with 70 years of travel experience, there's nobody better to take you away in 2021. Um, so I'm now gonna end the presentation um, with a video that our team have put together um, just, to sh just to show and highlight how we've really looked after our guests over the last year through this pandemic, um, because for us, customers really are important. Um, so I'd just like to thank you for listening to me today and learning about Saga Ocean Cruises. Um, so please enjoy the last video. Thank you for that, Natasha. That was brilliant. I think those itineraries for Summer 21 are incredible. They've already been really popular already. So yeah, I think they will do really, really well. Um, I just want to thank everyone for joining today as well. Um, and as a thank you to you for joining um, over the next two weeks, for anyone that does make a booking for either any of the Summer 21 sailings or anything for 2022, we are going to offer you a Fortnum and Mason, Mason hamper uh, for any bookings. Um, they are not combinable with, e with every offer and discount, um, but yeah, it is applicable to any bookings made uh, within the next two weeks, which is incredible. I, I also will just point out as well that we are also able to take video appointments between me and Natasha on a one-to-one -one basis to discuss any questions or any cruises or anything that you would like us to look at for you so if this is something that you are interested in then just either give me a call on my direct number that you can see on the screen or just drop me an email and I'll be more than happy to set that up for you also if anyone hasn't been able to ask any questions um, I'm just gonna look to see if we've got any now it won't be one moment it's just um have a see. I'm sure we've got a question there. Ah, this one might be for you, Natasha. So are there only showers in most cabins or wh which ones have baths? It's probably best to have a look at um, the, the, the grades when you're inquiring. Um, but majority do have baths as well, um, just because we've had feedback when we built the ship that that's what a lot of guests like. So there's actually probably more baths on board than showers. Um, so it's always best when you're inquiring to, to check about the grades. I don't know the actual ratio to, to, to 
tell you specifically. Okie dokie, thank you. And are their single cabins the same size or are they smaller? They are the same size, so really, really Amazing. generous um, single cabins, yeah. That's brilliant, brilliant. I can't see any more questions, however, if anyone has anything that they want to ask after today, um, you can set up a video appointment with us or just drop me an email and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. If there's anything that you've missed today, we are going to send this out, this presentation to you. So uh, we'll get that sent to you. And hopefully um, you've been inspired today um, and you're keen to start planning your next trip. And thank you for joining today, everybody.